back everybody and this is the first episode of whatever we're calling this on Wednesday <laughs> as you can see I have a new little intro for it. It, it I think the intro works I think the intro works really well you know what do you know Wednesday something like that <sighs> tips tricks especially if you're new to the channel and haven't seen any of the teasers for this it's just gonna be little things all over the place from what's the best 3s battery to fly what do you fly what is one of your go-to carries for flying when you go out into certain locations um modifications i wish i had the rest of the mount i am going to mount a gopro 10 bones to this and use it as a vlogging thing so these videos could be anywhere from a half hour long 10 minutes long or literally 30 seconds so there's going to be all kinds of cool little tips and tricks um one of them should be decide to clean up your workspace before you decide to make a video so you're not doing it the entire time of the video um i really didn't think this through on what i wanted to do um as a smart ass there I, I might save it for next video i i have a funny little shtick i'm gonna use but the tip trick of the day today is mount for your hd camera this is a recent setup this is Pickles. This is my go-to. I carry this every time I go out. I should say that 99% of the time based on wind. Um, the speed that this thing can go, its capabilities, um, it flies really, really good. Really locked in. It's great in acro. It will fly great in angle mode just for those really tiny maneuvers. But, excuse me. I'm trying to... Here's the uh, the beer. Um, so I think the mount, however you mount your HD camera is super crucial, like many other decisions you make on, let me put another light on, on your quad. Um, this has the stock little GoPro bones adapter that attaches to the back that goes into here. And it's, it's a hard mount. So there is a bit of vibration that I catch every now and then and i've only flown two or three packs some of them were just tests um and i got a couple flights that are coming out with it and i got to go back into the settings and change some stuff in here i'm not happy but so my recommendation is if you are freestyling doing slow flow which is my cup of tea to make sure you're soft mounted as much as possible with your hd camera there are a lot of mounts out that you can get that actually kind of look like they almost look like zip ties. They're just two kind of curls that come up to the base where something like this would mount to. And it's meant to absorb um, as much of the vibration as you can. And it helps if you're into real steady, um, real steady go through GoPro. Um, those mounts are huge. Uh, Brain 3D printing. If I'm, if I'm, I think that's the website. Um, do I have, where is this? Oh, here we go. All my 3D printing stuff comes from there right now. And um, they have tons of different mounts. I'm going to experiment with the offset but centered mount. And I have one coming that basically will look like this, but it's wrapped and leaving this sort of more exposed. And I'm hoping that will lower this down a little bit because I'm not a fan. I wanted to push it forward to lower the profile a bit more, but you see it in the um, FPV camera. But another thing I like to do, and I'm going to go back and readjust these, is I like to put little rubber isolators between the frame and the 3D print part to try to absorb as much as humanly possible. This was just a test, and I only did a real skinny one, but I'm going to put some thicker ones in here to really absorb as much as possible. Because the way this frame's set up, it's all like a hard ABS, and um, any vibration is going to transfer through everything. And it will get picked up. And especially on windy days, Cinewhoops tend to get a little more vibration no matter how much you tune them. That's just the way that they are. This one is a lot better because it doesn't have a standard duct. duct and uh, it flies a lot better, especially in acro. But, again, the, the tips and tricks are trying to take out your jello. Even in the most basic of cameras, like the Runcam Cube thingy there. And some of the other older GoPros that don't have the stabilization. Taking away that jello makes the world of difference on the footage and one other crazy thing that can help that is the nd filters on a real bright sunny day even some of the best tuned quads will get some vibrations based on wind bent prop because if you fly you crash and you bend props 
that is a thing that tends to happen so nd filter will help with some of that jello and make the world of difference and that would lead into another topic i can talk about with editing you can do more in editing quote unquote post with an nd filter because you can allow more stuff into the sensor when you're able to block out I like to run with an ND8 and an ND16 based on what I'm doing. I'm still learning a lot when it comes to HD cameras with locking shutter speed, what the shutter speed should be based on your frame rate. For example, if you're running 60 frames a second, which I'm running, your shutter speed should be double. So I should be running a shutter speed of 120 and that locks it. Um, the trick would be if you're going in and out of the canopy into open field and back into canopy, I would recommend running auto because you want it to be able to bounce back and forth. But if you're staying in one sort of fixed color profile, then lock the shutter speed. But I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I hope you've enjoyed this new little uh, series I'm running. You know, what do you need to know? What, I'm still working on it, but the intro thing I think is super cool. I had some fun with that the other day. And um, stay tuned, share your thoughts. If you have any recommendations, tips that you would like to share for me to broadcast and get out there, if you want to just shout somebody, whatever it is, I'm here. Hit me up. Thanks for watching.